But like, I just put that one in there just to have it in there. But I was thinking we could just um get some bolts, you know. Oh, I need all the hardware that goes with it. There's a bag over there. And that would look stupid. It's like basically a supermoto, right? It is a supermoto. No, it's not. Don't say that. It's a scrambler. Don't say that. Why isn't it? I have the brakes. I hate not taking it apart. What are you doing? Nothing. I'm trying to figure it out. Just wait. Well, like hold it tight. I got it. <laughs> Let the air out of the tire, maybe. Go oh, through there, and it'll be fine. You gotta make it fit. Okay, look, you're digging into the paint. It's definitely snug. I am so excited to be getting work done on this bike. It's been a long time coming. We got our electronic ignition installed, got most of the polishing done, forks are freshly rebuilt, new tires, everything's brand new. It's finally starting to come together. It really shouldn't be too long now. We definitely have to, we're prob we have all the brake components here. We're probably gonna end up buying new ones just because they're kind of old and whatever cobbled together but other than that everything's going great nick's been out here working on it he's planning on getting a bunch of work done on it today hopefully the tires fit they're as you can see super snug in between the forks but they're gonna fit it's gonna work i don't think we're gonna have to buy new triple clamps or shave the tire down we were talking about maybe shaving some of these side knobbies down don't even think we're gonna have to do it so there you go guys, that's just a quick little update of our RD350 build. I think we've been working on this thing for like around two years. It's an on and off project, it's not like we've been steadily grinding away at this thing, so stay tuned, it shouldn't be long now and this thing's going to be firing up for the first time. I'm super excited.